going on guys? It's just going to be a quick video, pretty much my thoughts on um, the uh, build up for the Rumble and uh, some other things that I thought I'd want to talk about here for morale. The first one, um, I don't even know if this is going to be in order, but whatever. Um, this whole Dolph Ziggler thing is just, it's not even, it's not even where like you'd like to poke fun at the guy. It's not even where you look for opportunities to, to take shots at Dolph Ziggler, but this is not even actually this is not even towards Dolph Ziggler. This is more of towards WWE. I just don't understand. And this is coming from a consumer, a a person who dropped more money than he sh than he wanted to uh, to attend last year's WrestleMania. A person who's going to the Royal Rumble. Who's, who's, you know, I, long story short, I dished money to this company. So their programming is designed for me. For you guys watching this video, for us, you know, we're the ones that give them money. We're the ones who go to their shows. What, what reason would I have to, you know, believe that this guy was carrying around around a briefcase is going to be fitted to be a champion? Like I don't understand. There, it's just so much. I can. It's it, it, oh, gone for hours. But today or tonight, he loses to Cena again, and this goes back to that argument that people were having the um the. The minute the TLC pay-per-view ended last month, what is, you know, Dolph Ziggler got his win, this will be a good stepping stone. I was one of those people that I was foolish enough to give WWE the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what, this was not the best win Ziggler got because, yes, he did get it from AJ. I know people are going to say, a win is a win. No, it's pro wrestling. A win is not a win. They script these wins. They're supposed to script so that the winner looks good, not that the winner looks lame. Dolph Ziggler was a lame winner. I still, however, put stuck my neck out for them and said, you know what? They can build on this. Even though he didn't he didn't win good, let's see what happens and you know it he, they, they can make it up. And then uh, tonight he loses to Cena. And now what what's someone gonna come on here and tell me? Whoa, who'll get his win back? And then what? Is he gonna lose again? Is he gonna start winning? I just don't understand. It's like a it's like a roller coaster. Like oh the uh, that that's Ziggler's momentum. That really is how how Ziggler's momentum is. He wins some matches against Santino, goes back down when he faces Cena or Randy Orton. He goes back up when he faces uh, I don't know Zack Ryder. He goes back down when he faces uh, Sheamus. It, it's just it's 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 like a it's like a on and off relationship between a guy and a girl. It's like fucking what's um. Uh, 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 I even hate to use this example, but it was like, uh, um, and it, I was actually talking to a friend earlier, and he described it like this. I was like, "All right," and it was uh, like uh, uh, Ronnie and Sam from the Jersey Shore. They were on and off. They were on and off. That's how Ziggler's pushes. That's my little rant. It's just, oh, I wish they would make up their mind and what they're gonna do with this guy. Oh, Jesus. What else? Uh, it was pretty cool again to see Cesaro, um, you know, giving the neutralizer to Kali. Um, Cena, or, uh, who was it, Ziggler announced himself to the Rumble. Apparently, you'd, all you have to do is announce yourself to be in the Royal Rumble. I don't know why Biggie just, because he got on the mic, God knows why. He got on the mic, he talked trash to Cena, and I don't know why he didn't just throw his name in, you know, to the Royal Rumble pool. I, I, I just didn't get that. <laughs> um... But yeah, and uh, of course the ladder match. I'm not gonna be. I don't. I haven't really checked to see if people hated it or liked it, whatever. I didn't. I didn't have a problem with it because, quite frankly, you knew what was gonna happen. You knew how it was gonna end. You knew it wasn't gonna be this blowaway match, and that's what we got. So I'm not complaining. It, it, it was okay, actually. You know, for what it was, and it, it it developed the stuff that needed to be developed. You know, Ryback is gonna move on from Punk eventually, so might as well start now because this thing with the with the with the um. With the uh, the shield got put bumped up to another level tonight because they literally cost him the WWE title for what now the second time I think, uh, but yeah, and now we got we got the uh, Punk and Rock promo at the end. Uh, Punk was on a he was on fire tonight with his delivery. To me, it's not what he says; it's how he says it and and how believable he makes me feel. Because if you were like to just close your eyes and listen to what he's saying, you would think that that's that really is what he's, you know, what he is, um, that really is what he believes. Well, all the stuff he said about management and how they don't care about your in-ring ability, they just care about how much money you can make them and how popular, how popular you are and how many t-shirts you move. And he dropped this line about Tyson Kidd and he dropped this line about, uh, 
brought his clay, and he dropped this line about Daniel Bryan, and which, by the way, was another one of those things where, like, oh, he's breaking his character, because there's a, here's a, uh, an arrogant, cocky heel who's giving credit to Daniel Bryan, who's giving credit to Tyson Kidd, a guy who was never on TV, a guy who's giving credit to a joke like Brodus Clay, which, by the way, the a two year, the a one year anniversary of that video is coming up in two days, so you know you're gonna see a video for me, and you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you will in two days. Um, so he was on there as a deliver, and he's just like, man, like I really believe what Punk is saying is what you would think. And again, it was this delivery, and and the whole thing when they went on commercial. Apparently, when they went on to commercials, they were str live streaming the the uh, Punk, you know, Punk continuous promo during commercials on the WWE app, the, 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 on the WWE app. So there's, I guess, a reason to actually get that shitty app. So I thought that was actually pretty cool. And then Rock comes out, and of course, yay, the Rock is back. Which I'm, yeah, I'm glad he's back. But here's the thing that I had a problem with. He took the same approach that he did last year to Cena. And to me, I have a problem with that. Because, and don't get me wrong, he didn't make me look to look forward, look less forward to the match at the Rumble. He didn't make, it wasn't a bad performance. It's not like, oh, he sucked tonight. No, it wasn't anything like that at all. I'm just saying, I expect him to approach this differently. It's a different component. It's arguably the, the, the most unique opponent he's ever faced. Up there with a couple that you probably can mention off the top of your head, like myself. But... To me, it's like he didn't really approach this any different. I, I, he really didn't. If you, it's like it's kind of like he came back to kick Cena's ass. All he did was change Shruti Pebbles and Compound Chicken or a bitch to uh, what was it Cookie Puss and it, it, like no, like do something different. But you know, I'm cutting him some slack because he has like a bunch of shows coming up towards uh, leading up to the Rumble. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna appear like on four more tapings uh, leading up to the Rumble, so he, you know, he can, he still got, he still has time and more opportunities to, um, to uh, do something different. But yeah, I'm just saying, it's just, it's one of those things where like he's loved on the internet, so a lot of people are just gonna dismiss that. It's the Rock. It doesn't matter, you know, well, no pun intended. It, it doesn't matter what he said. It's the Rock, and it was awesome. He was in the ring with Punk, and he gave him the Rock bottom. It's just like, come on, like be. Be a man and just criticize your 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 uh, your favorite wrestlers for their flaws. And you know, th this was a flaw to me because again, he didn't do anything different. And it, it, uh, I'm just saying, if Stone Cold was out there, I'm pretty sure it would have been different. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to the Rumble in three weeks. Like I said, The Rock didn't do do anything to make me think, oh, this match is gonna suck. Anything, nothing like that. Again, The Rock was good tonight. I just want him to be great. I want him to approach this differently. I want to see that fire from him. And uh, tonight was just name calling and uh, getting the chant or the crowd the crowd to chant something. Thank God he did not ask about the cookie puss phrase trending on Twitter. That would have irritated me because I'm sick with things trending. But yeah, those are my thoughts and um, they're my opinions. And you have your own, although you're not man enough to make videos. So leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.